what's up guys the ghost um, so the last video was a um, stock lock from the package pick gut um, if you watched it it was a gutting disaster <laughs> um, but we salvaged it um, the everything that was in here this is it was a it's a um, uh, God, I can't even remember. Bunker Hill. Um, generic, no-name puck lock. Um, and uh, so what I did was, because all the pins in it were standard and they're uh, not, not very secure, uh, what I did was went through my stock of um, American... Uh, pins because they're the same size these are these are the downsized uh, master American smaller size um, but I have all my uh, you guys have seen my pinning kit before uh, just homemade stuff but this is my uh, a master American um, pins I just kind of I got these little things that divide them really nice and uh, they work for me so anyway um, what I did was I went through uh, because that's the other thing that uh, I have mentioned before um, I'm a key freak um, I was a key freak before I was a lock freak so um, I one of the things that I do is I go to my uh, local locksmith shop and I get I ask him um, and he gives me a take in a box and uh, they have um, a little garbage pail under their key machine where anytime they have um, and over by their work desk uh, anytime they have you know a bad cut or um, they're they change up and repin a lock or you know a lot of people buy several locks so they they repin the cores um, so they're all key to like or whatever they take the keys and they just throw them in these bins uh, and they just throw them away so I go in and I ask him hey can I have your throwaway keys um, and he takes the whole bin and just dumps it in my box and I walk away with it so um, I'm gonna do a quick camera move shot here just a second and so this is my workbench my desk um, the uh, the caramel apple pie a la mode shine was quite tasty uh, and it is gone now but anyway uh, so here's my bench and then I have a pegboard that goes sorry the light is right there above me so uh, it might get kind of bright hopefully I can get this just right but that is my pegboard and all my keys uh, and then a bunch of my locks um, I actually uh, it's funny I um, I'm trying to put you guys back oh it's gonna get a little scary for a second hold on all right I think we're I think we're pretty close to back where you're supposed to be make sure we're refocused okay um, I just watched, um, uh, Chris Capoon did a did Lock Lab tour video of his, where he's talked about outgrowing his space, uh, and then showed off his rolling tool chest with, um, a lot of his lock, uh, most of his locks in it, I think. He, he's got them scattered all over. Um, but, uh, I saw that tool bench, or that rolling tool chest, and I'm like, oh man, there's so much stuff in there and I'm like uh, I was drooling um, <laughs> I was kind of jealous anyway um, I don't know exactly where I was going with this I I've got a few locks up here I've got a few more I didn't even show you that are hanging around a, uh, over here behind the camera but anyway um, I don't have near what he's got and probably what most of you guys have but um, I don't know what I have I like and it's fun so um, anyway um, so what I did was I went through 
because uh, one of the things that I get out of those that um, bunch of keys is um, pack lock keys, uh, and I get factory cut um, pack lock keys, and usually there's full sets in there, um, so I usually wind up with at least two. Uh, and I've got quite a few up there on the same hook with my um, American keys because um, they're all the same keyway and uh, pack locks are six pin. It's, most of my Americans are five. I have a couple of the original Americans that are six. But anyway, um, so what I did was I went through because I wanted six pins when I, I wanted to repin this so that it was more secure. Um, so I went through my pack lock keys and I found one that I liked. Uh, as far as bidding goes, um, and you can see that one there, that's the new bidding for this. Uh, and then I went through my pins and I found pins that matched. Um, so these are, I'm not going to modify these, these are stock American pins. <clears throat> Excuse me, and drivers. Now, what I do is after I find the pins that I want to match the key, um, then I will go through and pick drivers uh, based off of the key pins and how they sit. Um, so after I pull the key, or I, I find the key that I want and find the pins, I pull the key and then I find driver pins. And I like to, when I'm building challenge locks especially, I like to match all my drivers um, so that they it, it sits even but in this case I'm not too worried about it we're just gonna run it the way it is uh, but I find I, I pick my driver pins based off of my key pins and how they sit uh, in the core with no key in it because that's obviously if you're gonna pick it that's how you're gonna have to work with it um, so th that's what I do and I'm gonna take I'll take all these out and lay them out and show you guys um, what I picked to put in here. Um, so I'm going to yank these out. I'm going to go ahead and pause this so that this video doesn't get too long. And then I'll yank everything out and I'll show you. I'll lay it all out and show you what I've got. And then we'll put this back together and um, see what we've got and go from there. Okay, guys. So here's what I've got. Um, these are all stock American pins. Uh, looks like I got one. Rolled over and went upside down. It's too small to uh, sit up on its own, I guess. Anyway, um, these are all the pin the springs that came out of the lock. I'm not going to change any of those. Uh, I'm just going to use what was there. I did change all of the driver pins because um, they were all standards. Uh, and they're kind of more, not as nice, a, not as clean of a pin. So um, I, uh, I changed it up based off of the bidding. We've got... Um, the other thing you guys will figure out from my videos is I actually I go one to six or seven going this way instead of the other way uh, just because of how I gut and uh, build them and stuff so uh, in chamber one we've got uh, a serrated in chamber two we got serrated in three we've got a serrated spool four is a serrated spool uh, five is serrated and then six is just a standard spool and then all serrated key pins except for chamber three. Um, and that's just because he's just so, such a high cut. Um, just such a small pin that I I could probably chuck him up and put a, a in the Dremel and put a serration in him. But I don't see the point. We're just going to leave him just the way he is. Um, and then the uh, steel retention pin. So... These are the pins that we uh, that I picked out to put in here, and we'll get it put back together and show you guys a finished product, I guess. Okay, guys, so here's what we do, or here's what I do. I loaded all my key pins back up, and the, one of the first things I do is take my key, and I double-check and make sure that I got them all in the right spot. I didn't jumble anything. Um, otherwise, if you don't, you go put it back together. Your key's not going to work. Yeah. If you did mess something up, your key's not going to work, and uh, then you get to pick it for fun. Uh, but anyway, so all my uh, key pins are set. They're exactly where I want. The other thing I did was um, 
if you don't have anything like uh, super springs or stick up above the shear line I load all my springs before I load my core just makes it a little easier a little less to have to deal with and then these when you can when you can work from both sides um, I actually will load the back half of mine one way and then I'll switch and load the front half um, so as long as you pay attention to what you're doing it should work out okay Oh, see, I screwed up. I went one too many the wrong direction. Way to go. That's all right. Shit happens, right? We work around it and we move on. Did one too many because I have to load this retention spring also, or this retention pin also. So we loaded the back three. Now we'll load the front four. Just make sure you pay attention and keep track as you're pulling your plug follower back, or otherwise you will start spitting pins out, and then you get to do it all over again. Yeah, dropped it. Try again. There we go. Okay, so for anybody new that uh, maybe hasn't done this before, when you are... Um, loading driver pins i'm going to try and do this with in front of the camera so that i can kind of show a little bit i should have set up at the other angle but um you got your follower and then what you're going to do is stick your pin in there you want to grab it oh sorry focus there we go you guys can maybe kind of see that you want to grab it come on See, I got part of it sticking out of my pinning tweezers. You want to grab it like that. You want to start it into the hole and then use your finger. Oh, God, keep it in frame. Use your finger and hold pressure on your plug follower. And that will hold your pin in place until you can get your tweezers back on top of it. Go to push it down, relieve your pressure, uh, and use your pinning tweezers to push it down. And then use your finger to push your follower over the top of it. And that is how you load your driver pins. My plug follower is holding it in place. And I'm going to put my pinning tweezers on the top of it so that it's not going to pop up on me. And relieve some pressure, push it down into the hole, and now, and then shove your plug follower through, and now all my driver pins are loaded. Uh, and the retention pin. So then we can take our. Oh, we got to do this very, very. You know what? Huh. Perfect timing. Um, shims. Let's talk about shims for a second. Because one of the things I wanted to share, and I was not necessarily prepared to do this, so I don't know where I put it. Um, let's see, where did I put it, where did I put it, it's here somewhere, I know it is, darn it, okay, let me see if I can find it and we'll come back, okay guys, found what I was looking for, uh, everybody knows what these are, this is the little security tag that comes in um high more higher dollar items uh from stores um for those of you that don't know i'm going to show you what's inside of here and there's a reason i'm going to show you what's inside of here um 
when you do this, be very careful not to slice your fingers open, because uh, that is entirely possible. I suggest having a nice sharp blade. Okay, well, that should be enough. You know what's inside of here? Shims, and there's always two of them. These are, guys, I've never, never bought a shim in my life. Uh, and I have tons of them. Because every one of these that I find, I get two shims. And these are perfect. These are exactly what you're looking for when you get a shim. Uh, they work for everything that any store-bought shim will work for. Uh, I'm almost positive they're probably the exact same thing. I've actually never even used a a bought and shim because I there's no need to. But anyway, um, and these will work perfectly. I swear they will. I swear it. Shim just doesn't want to work with me. It's not the shim, guys. It's me, I swear. I use these all the time. There we go. It's my night, I'm telling you. It's just, it's just me. It's been that kind of a day. Something about that second pin, it just does not want to go past. And the back side has this big old tail hanging over it, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it from this side. But we can try, I guess. Oh. God, now I look like an idiot. This works, guys, I swear to you. It's just me. I'm having issues. I've been having issues all day. I've been having issues for a couple of days now. Okay. Screw it. If it blows up in my face, it blows up in my face. Um, it works, guys. I swear. That's the only shims I've ever used, and they always work. I don't know. It's just me. I'm having issues tonight, but it does work. So if we line this up just right, if this blows up in my face, then it blows up in my face. But if I follow, all right, and then locked. Moment of truth. Oh, beautiful. That works beautifully. Okay, I will put this all back together, show you the end result, and call this good. Uh, give me just a second, and I will get the tailpiece and everything put back on, and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, so all I did was put the tailpiece back on and put the uh, roll pin back in. Um, just still functions. And we should be able to put it back together. And all right, now 
this should be almost as hard to pick as an American. Um, hopefully we beefed it up a little bit and maybe in one of my next videos we'll see if we can get a pick on it now. Until then, keep it legal.